So in general, the AI red team yeah. is going to be a penetration tester or a red teamer um, that understands fundamentally how to do pen testing really well in a normal corporate environment. But they need that extra bit of knowledge to understand how machine learning, engineering pipelines work. And using that knowledge, then they can go out and test your whole infrastructure in ways that an average pen tester is not going to know how to do. So you can kind of think of AI security as like three broad categories. You've got model input security. So this person has to know how to do jailbreaks. They have to know the common techniques that are changing all the time to do jailbreaks and prompt injections. Uh, for instance, they have to kind of realize that if you're running an LLM internally on your network and it scans emails, then the route for an attacker to attack that through prompt injection and model input attacks is going to be sending a prompt injection in an email and now you have the LLM reading that prompt injection and then doing something malicious based on third-party data. So that kind of thing is not going to be that obvious to the average penetration tester or web application tester. The sure. second category is model file security, and this is actually pretty overlooked. Model files themselves are serialized data, and they can be vulnerable to command injections. And so what we see is file formats like Pickle are really, really good for phishing emails. You send it to a machine learning engineer, and you put a command injection inside of it, and you say, hey, can you test this out? I'm having some issues with it. As soon as the model, the machine learning engineer opens up that model file, they have command execution on their computer, and now you own their computer, and now you also own the permissions of that machine learning engineer. And the third category that uh, I think might be the most impactful is the supply chain itself. Yeah. And I'll let Marcello talk about the supply chain vulnerabilities. Yeah, supply chain is where we see the most vulnerabilities, I think, out of all of them, because that it's it's the tooling behind the uh, NI and ML models themselves is the most vulnerable, the, usually. Um, and we have like the Hunter bug bounty platform that basically, like we have 15 to 20,000 researchers, I think, that are on the platform finding vulnerabilities in the supply chain side of like AI and ML every single day. Uh, and we've had like vulnerabilities in like some of the most star projects on GitHub, like Ray and MLflow, um, and a bunch of other tooling like H2O, Gradio, that, yeah, Gradio, and all these things. So like, and it ranges from like you know simple bugs to like from just denial of service to all the way up to server side request forgery and no code execution. So like it's it's a it's a very ripe area for research, and it's a huge huge attack surface. So when you're building out this team, you're going to need a penetration tester or a red teamer that understands all three of these categories, and they're going to have to also understand what tools are actually machine learning related. So you're going to have to arm them with visibility tools that allow them to know where all the model files are stored across your network and where all the machine learning tools are stored across the network. Like an average penetration tester might see a Gradio deploy or an MLflow deploy and think, well, there's an interesting web interface, but they scan it with a Nessus, let's say, and Nessus says, oh, no vulnerabilities yeah. found. But in fact, there's you know a dozen vulnerabilities in that service. And so if they have knowledge of the machine learning engineering pipeline, then they can use that to then attack the machine learning engineering pipeline from a more nuanced realistic, perspective, yeah, a realistic, a realistic perspective. Realistic perspective, yeah. That, that's the biggest thing. It is like the whole the whole model, the whole testing model needs is super nuanced when it comes to actually detecting like specific AI and ML vulnerabilities. Like that, that's the thing. And you have to know and inventory is key, like knowing where your models are. The whole CI C D pipeline, the whole architecture of the CI C D pipeline is the most important part. Yeah. Sure. And so when you're building out that team, I think it works well if you take one of your internal red teamers and say they're gonna specialize in AI. Yeah. You have them go talk to the machine learning engineers and have them walk through the entire process of building the model, deploying the model, saving the model, updating the model. And that way they can go out and Google, hey, I see that my team is using MLflow. Are there any vulnerabilities in this that we missed because vulnerability scanners are just not picking up on these tools yeah. because these tools are so new. And also, like the vulnerability scanners themselves, usually take like a couple of weeks just to get like updates on like the stuff that they're actually scanning. And these vulnerabilities like just come in like immediate. It's it's just like a it's a huge area of research right now. So like right. sometimes like your scanning your scanning tool might not even be detect these just because of how nuanced like the the scanning needs to be. But also just like they might not even have the signatures associated with the actual vulnerability. Yeah, and the common penetration testing tools like Nessus can't scan a model file itself. Yeah. You need yeah. someone who understands how to use the tools like ModelScan, which is an open source tool that scans model files, how to use that on an enterprise level scale and scan all of your model files yeah. or scan all of your model files that you're downloading from Hugging Face, for instance, because a lot of people assume that models coming from Hugging Face are safe. safe. Yeah. And we're finding that's not the case. Yeah. It's basically like downloading an unsafe hugging model uh, is downloading any hugging model, uh, hugging face model is like the equivalent of like just running an executable off of GitHub right. without knowing like 
what what's in what's going what the executable is going to do yeah. without being signed or something. Like so that. the AI red team doesn't need to be machine learning engineers or yeah. like math experts or probability experts or anything like that. They just need a little extra push to stay on top of the latest news yeah. on what the new vulnerabilities coming out in machine learning model space, uh, prompt injection attacks and supply chain attacks yeah. are, and have a knowledge of the tools you can use to actually scan and detect those. Yeah, and basically like train your red team too. Like you get like send them out the trainings because there's a bunch of trainings now like specifically focused for like red team, like AI and ML red team, like yeah. black hat and everywhere. So I think a lot of the pen testers get kind of like uh, intimidated when yeah. they hear like AI, right? I don't even know what AI security is. Yeah, it's pretty they, simple. They associate it with math. Probably. Right, That's exactly. Why. Probabilities like, and math, I but it's math. not. And it's uh, basically mostly the same kind of attacks with little nuances, like yeah. the model file itself and the prompt injections. But mostly web application pen testing and API pen testing, I think, is the most important skill that you have in your AI red team. For sure.